Exactly. Them <laughs> now, I showed you that clip because Jordan Belfort was all about sell, sell, sell. So in order for his company to do well, those were his friends at the table who he started his company with. So if he got that point across to his friends, they would understand they needed to sell stocks. The more stocks they sold, the more money they got, which meant the more money Jordan Belfort got. So um, that's why I showed you that. Now, uh, for those of you who've seen the movie, I'm assuming most of you have not read his memoirs. Has anyone here read his memoirs? Raise your hand. No? Yeah, I didn't think so. So the movie actually follows Belfort's memoirs very, very closely, which most of you probably wouldn't imagine. Now, um, I'm just going to tell you guys what was proven fact based on Belfort's memoirs and what was not, or a little embellished. Now, Belfort's first boss when he arrived on Wall Street told him that the keys to success on Wall Street were masturbation, cocaine, and hookers. Now, while that's very strange and like an odd thing to say to an employee, according to Belfort's memoirs and an interview after the movie came out, that was proven true. Another thing is that Forbes magazine was the first to expose Belfort and uh, they called him a twisted Robin Hood. Now, while most of you in society thought that was a really bad thing, that actually helped out his firm because the students who recently graduated from the top-notch schools like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, and uh, Wharton's Business School, they all thought, wow, I could go to his company and make so much more money even if I'm breaking the rules a little bit. So that actually helped him out. The next thing is Danny Porush, his uh, partner, married his cousin. Now, I'm not going to really get into that because that's just weird, but so you guys can see, um, I have pictures. This one here is Danny Porush and his wife slash cousin. And this is what Jordan Belfort looks like in real life and his wife. So I'll just pass these around so you guys can see them. If you want to look at them. Um, next is that uh, the office parties, they included a midget tossing competition, shown here. And uh, with this, the company hired midgets, like a, just any midget they could find, I guess on a Craigslist or something like that they said in the movie. And the goal was you and a partner toss the midget that they hired to the target here, and the person or pair who hit the dollar sign first or came closest to you by the end of the day won $100,000 in cash. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, next is that the company billed prostitutes to the corporate card. Now, while most of you find that odd as well as I do, um, it's just something they did on Wall Street. For example, my one of my good friends back home, his dad used to work on Wall Street, and um, he was telling me a, a bunch of stories about how when he worked on Wall Street, they had uh, parties from the office, like office-sponsored parties or something, and uh, they didn't allow the wives to go because they hired so many prostitutes and had so many different drugs like cocaine and all that stuff. So that's just something they did. It's like natural, I guess. Um, the next thing is that Jordan Belfort, he sunk his own yacht in Italy. Now, while that's like kind of weird, and obviously he survived since he's like still alive, whatever, but uh, he sunk his own yacht in Italy. And um, in the movie, he uh, sinks it because he wants to get to his uh, Swiss bank accounts before uh, he loses his money. So they actually had to save him. Like uh, the Coast Guard had to come get him because a 50-foot wave crashed onto his boat and they like, all started to drown. So that's just something funny. And the last thing is that uh, he served a reduced prison sentence because he ratted on everybody in his company once uh, the government got onto him. So now in the movie, it states that um, he ratted out just his best friend, or everybody but his best friend, but in real life he ratted out everybody and only had to serve a two-year uh, sentence. Uh, things that were proven fiction were that he only scammed the rich, but according to bank accounts and uh, people who came forward after the movie, he scammed the rich, the poor, and the middle class. And the last thing is that he drove and crashed his Lamborghini uh, coming from his country club. Now while he did crash a car, it wasn't a Lamborghini, so that was a little embellished. It was just a Mercedes, while it was under the influence of several drugs, like uh, I think it was Ludes. 
and uh, cocaine, and he was drunk. So, so I just highly encourage you guys to uh, go out and see the movie. Uh,